Ukraine's Deputy Defense Minister, Lieutenant General Ivan Havriliuk, has stated that the targets of ATACMS ballistic missiles include not only Russian military airfields. In an article for Interfax Ukraine, he noted that while discussions were underway with partners about lifting restrictions on the use of long-range weapons, the Russians moved their aircraft further inland beyond the range of ATACMS. This has led some in the West to doubt the effectiveness of their use. Havriliuk stressed that ATACMS can strike not only Russian military airfields, but also arsenals, bases and warehouses. Thus, the Russians would supply less weapons, ammunition and equipment to the front lines in Ukraine. Even the biggest and fiercest bears are afraid of fire. The rabid Russian bear will be stopped by the powerful fire of the defense forces of Ukraine. We need to add firepower. Many of our partners are aware that the scale of the Russian offensive requires a greater supply of weapons to the Ukrainians. At the same time, we urge our partners to urgently help speed up the development and increase the volume of production of missiles, long-range drones, robotic complexes, EW systems and other weapons at Ukrainian enterprises. And we also offer allies to buy weapons for the armed forces from Ukrainian manufacturers. A better armed Ukrainian army will quickly motivate Russia until the end of the war, he said. The answer to the question millions of Ukrainians ask, when will the war end? is simple. It will end when Russia can no longer continue it. This depends primarily on the Ukrainian soldiers and strong decisions from our allies. Ukraine has the right to defend itself, but we do not have enough weapons to repel the Kremlin's troops. Therefore, we are forced to remain on the defensive. That is why we emphasize the need for more resources, not just for defense, the Deputy Defense Minister emphasized. Havriliuk also noted that Kyiv is encouraging its allies to purchase weapons from armed forces of Ukraine from Ukrainian manufacturers. At the same time, we are urgently asking our partners to help speed up the development and increase the production of missiles, long-range drones, robotic systems, electronic warfare systems and other weapons at Ukrainian enterprises, he added. In the ranks of Russian Z-War correspondents, there is an anxious anticipation in connection with the Ukrainian Armed Forces offensive in the Kursk region. They suspect that the Ukrainians may be preparing a new breakthrough. This opinion was also voiced by the famous Kremlin propagandist Alexander Kotz on the air of the radio station Komsomolskaya Pravda. Kotz claims that during the Kursk operation, the Ukrainian armed forces did not use all of their reserves. He is sure that new breakthroughs of the Ukrainian armed forces into the territory of the Russian Federation should be expected in the near future. I am concerned that the enemy may strike somewhere else. These may be different directions. There may be a strike in the Belgorod region, maybe in the Kursk direction in the Tetkino area, maybe from the side of that very Glukov city in the Sumy region. There are very powerful forest areas directly adjacent to our border and from there it is possible to develop an offensive, for example, on that very Rilsk or in the direction of the Bryansk region. We have not seen all the reserves. We do not see aviation. We do not see Western tanks. We do not see massive work of Western artillery. Somewhere this is being held for some reason, said the Z-War correspondent. He believes that Ukraine is now accumulating reserves in various places in order to use its favorite tactic of small mobile groups to break through the border again and wedge itself deep into Russia. Kotz suspects that the Ukrainian armed forces will try to take back as many of Russia's territories as possible in order to exchange them for their own. Recently, some telegram channels have reported an attempted incursion by Ukrainian forces into Russia's Belgorod region. However, accounts of the scale of the operation vary widely. The region's governor confirmed that the situation at the border remains difficult. Belgorod sits directly across the border from Ukraine's Kharkiv region and has been subjected to repeated shelling and drone attacks by Kyiv's forces since May 2023. With the Kursk operation, Ukraine can illuminate the hollowness of Russia's strategic deception narratives and with that enhance Ukraine's ability to create a peace that is acceptable for Ukraine.